Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to Archie Luxury Corporate. Today I'd like to do an Asia Pacific wrap up of the Rolex supply disaster. It's been known through, uh, through many, 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 many sources that the Rolex supply problem is not improving. Rolex steel sports watches are virtually impossible to source and I thought it was only um, it was only just that I do a video on the Rolex supply problem Asia Pacific that's correct Asia Pacific Rolex supply problem so let's start off in uh, Hong Kong one of the uh, the most uh, famous destinations to buy Rolex watches and um, let's let's begin this broadcast. So here we are. This is uh, we're in uh, we're in Nathan Road. Um, we've got many many dealers and uh, quite interesting renovations and displays are going on there. We can see that uh, Rolex themselves here is really the Rolex Datejust and Rolex Day Date dealers. Steel sports watches are in extremely limited numbers. Um, a good sprinkling of Tudor and uh, day dates, date just or platinum. If you want to buy a precious metal Rolex, Hong Kong does have a great selection. However, no fantastic easy access to stock this is uh, pretty well the way it is all over Hong Kong there are many many dealers in Hong Kong who have Rolex pieces for sale but no steel sports they have date just they have day dates they have precious metal pieces but Hong Kong itself there is no longer the wristwatch mecca that it used to be. Wrist watches in Hong Kong are expensive. Wrist watches are very expensive in Hong Kong. Uh, it's a bit of a, this is the dilemma of being so close to the booming mainland Chinese economy. Rolex itself wonderfully represented in Hong Kong but limited stock. Malaysia, one of the Asian tigers, the Asian tigers, we're in Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, and we're looking at Rolex. We're on the hunt for Rolex steel sports. Let's see what we can come up with. Hello, how are you? A beautiful store in Kuala Lumpur's upmarket business district. A prolifera of date just, day dates and where are our steel sports? Unfortunately, although the booths, the sales counters are beautifully fitted out with ornate green chairs, there is very limited stock of Rolex steel sports. Prices in Malaysia tend to be very high. Malaysia is a expensive place to buy a Rolex wristwatch. Hello, how are you? Lovely store. Very limited stock. That's all I can say. Absolutely very, very limited stock how are you? indeed. A good watch Rolex, aren't they? Uh, Rolex is. Where are from, sir? Australia. They're great watch. I love Rolex. I have I have Rolex myself. Oh, this, uh, Explorer 2, 40 mil. Yes. The, it's the model before. The new yeah. one, 42. Previous model, yes. Yeah. Yes. They're beautiful. Already more 10 years. So, yeah, yeah. 10 years, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, they last for a long time, you know? But nobody has Submariner these days. Yeah, Submariner, yeah, no stuff. Very short, yeah. very short most, stuff. Most shop is a high demand because yes. it's very limited piece. Yes. Very limited. 
Yes, that's the problem with Rolex. They're very popular, you know? Yeah. Impossible to get Daytona. Uh, Impossible. Uh, very hard, very Daytona hard. Daytona only we have the steel angle. Yeah. Two-tone, yeah. Yes. Yeah, steel one, impossible to get. Yeah, very hard to get it. Yeah. Lovely shop here. I love it. Thank you so much. No? I tell you the truth, this store, as good as any store. Oh, yeah. This is good as... Hong Kong, Singapore? Uh, because our, our shop is the biggest in Malaysia, this one. This is the biggest one? Yes. Yes. It's the biggest one. They all, they, many, they all look the same, you know? Yeah, yeah, Rolex yeah. and Patek store. Because... Uh, but this a, store is, is big. I, I, Australia. The biggest one I see is Hong Kong airport. Oh, Hong you know, Kong. two, two story uh, boutique okay, okay, there. Okay. Yes, but this one here, normally not have store like this. This is huge store. Very luxury. Very luxury. Very, can I grab one of your magazines there? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. I love the Rolex brand name, you know, they are super cool brand. Okay, let's go on to the next country. Let's go to fabulous Singapore. Singapore has been a huge market for Rolex wristwatches. Many, many dealers in Singapore. Um, unfortunately, very, very sad news indeed. Wonderful selection of date justs, day dates, two tone, gold. Uh, wonderful selection, but uh, very, 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 very limited steel sports stunners. A lot of the dealers are emphasizing other sports watches, Panerai, Breitling, anything to get over the fact that Rolex has such limited supply in Singapore. Singapore is a fantastic mecca to stop off. However, the supply of Rolex is expensive and they have very, very limited Rolex stock. The prices in Singapore in recent years are no bargain. Singapore and Hong Kong are no longer the mecca that they used to be. Okay, let's go to the fabulous Gold Coast in Australia. Let's take a look. There are fantastic boutiques in Australia. Australia has a number of Rolex retailers around the continent. Unfortunately, and I say this with a very, very disdainful, disdainful tone, unfortunately, Rolex Steel Sports, very, very tough to find. In fact, this boutique at the Gold Coast, the only Rolex sports watch, was a... Um, a rose gold yacht master a rose gold yacht master with the uh, rubber strap on um, unfortunately very very limited stock beautiful store beautifully fitted out store um, world class however very very disappointed that um, no steel sports watches and this is a situation that has evolved over the past couple of years. I've got a bit of old footage. I'm going to take you back in time. Let's go back. Let's go back about 18 months ago. We're going to go to Sydney. Sydney. This is a dealer in Sydney. Look at this. We've got a few steel sports. Well, we've got a few sports watches. We've got a Daytona Gold, Daytona Two-Tone with white dial. We've got a uh, Explorer 2, Explorer 2 Polar, and a Blue Milgauss. This is from 18 months ago. Now, Sydney stores are virtually, they've become a mecca for Datejust. That's right. No longer will you find steel sports pieces. So, guys, the wrap-up, Asia-Pacific. Um, the situation is that uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, um, 
very expensive and limited very very hard to get sports Rolexes steel sports Rolexes new from the AD uh, Malaysia one of the growing Asian tigers very very um, expensive compared to other destinations and no steel sports um, the cheapest price place in the Asia Pacific region to buy Rolex is Australia Australia has uh, world-class Rolex boutiques and stores however however the situation is diabolical with basically just date just day dates and precious metal pieces available Asia Pacific one of the worst affected areas in the Rolex steel sports drought I'm Paul Pluter this is Paul Pluter from the Archie Luxury corporate channel please please be patient as you desire your own personal Rolex please be patient please be kind and please don't be too greedy when buying Rolex steel sports stunners thank you very much for watching please like subscribe tell your corporate friends and don't forget Rolex steel sports the pro the drought will break eventually <laughs>